Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the fish room. Today we're going to be doing the very first and probably last video talking about the Neptune Apex Wave powerheads. Now, as you can see, I only have one of them out of the two left here in the 300 gallon reef. And uh, well, my original uh, thought process behind this video was to wait at least a year and give you guys a full review talking about the pros, the cons, what I like, dislike, all that good stuff regarding the Neptune Apex Wave pump. But unfortunately, two days ago, one of the two decided to die. Now, I'm gonna talk about what happened with that, my process of elimination to try to see if it was just the pump or maybe something wrong with the EB-832. But uh, yeah, and then we'll wrap it up with some pros and cons and if you should buy these or uh, you know save your money. So with that being said, I did pick up two of these back in November. And if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I've used uh, quite a few different pumps in this tank. Uh, we did uh, several different types of JBOs. We did a gyre for a little while, Nero 5s. Now we have the MP40s and I figured, hey, let's go ahead and throw the wave pumps in here because they're relatively simple they just connect to the EB832 I can connect them and program them through the apex which is always fun you guys know I'm a gear junkie so it was it was just kind of up my alley the only downside I noticed when I first got them was that they were kind of clunky looking like not as not as clunky as like a near or not near but a a jabo but they were kind of like bulky and just just kind of stood out a lot so I figured I'd go ahead and put them here up at the top left and right hand side of the tank kind of shooting flow uh, down and across the back of the tank and a little bit to the front and uh, that worked out fine like I said I, I put them on the uh, the system back in November zero issues now I did try a couple different profiles through the apex uh, some custom ones that other users had I did notice at one point one of the profiles when it got to a certain rpm both the pumps started clicking so I went ahead and removed that uh, during the profile and it was never an issue after that and uh, yeah so there has been zero issues never cleaned them because uh, supposedly the apex is supposed to tell you when you need to clean them and when I did finally clean the one that broke the other day they weren't really dirty at all anyways and uh, with that again no issues they work fine really good cross flow you can definitely see especially during feeding time when we have all the food particles in the tank it was definitely uh, adding to the to the setup now as you guys know right now we're running uh, two mp40s on each side of the tank and then a, there was the wave pumps on each side giving us about 30,000 gallons at any given point in time worth of flow which is more than enough for this tank so let's uh let's kind of fast forward to two days ago when i came down here and noticed during the feeding time there wasn't any flow coming out of either one of the pumps so as with everything in the reef tank when there's something going on it's a process of elimination so the first thing i did was i unplugged both of them and I plugged them in different ports with the multiple EB, EB832s down there and none of them worked. Now, when I unplugged the right one and just left the left one in, if I, yeah, I think that's the way right to say it. I unplugged the right one and then left the left one in. That's probably the wrong way to say it. But either way, that one worked. There was no issues. It showed up on the apex, flow, all that good stuff. But as soon as I plugged the right one back in, uh, they both died. Of course, what I did is I unplugged the left, left the right one in, and that one still didn't work. So there's definitely something wrong with that right pump. I didn't bother really Googling too much. I did a, a simple like, hey, what's common issues that we've known to seen or you've seen with the wave uh, pumps? And that was one of them. So I just kind of chopped it up to that. I'm not really gonna do any more uh, process of elimination or, or troubleshooting. Um, I'm just gonna leave the left one in until it dies and then we're not gonna have any at all. Now, um, it is kind of unfortunate. Uh, luckily, I did get these pumps for free, so it's not like I'm out any significant amount of money, but I will say uh, I'm kind of disappointed that they only last about, what, nine months, something like that. Now, uh, with that, let's go to move on to the, uh, I guess, the pros and the cons of this, and you guys can decide what you uh, wanna do. So, pros easy to connect through the EB-832. Of course, anything through an Apex is always fun to program if you're a gear junkie, multiple programs, uh, profiles, all that good stuff. Um, they tell you when they need to be cleaned. They have relatively good flow being at about, what, 5,000 gallons per hour. Um, and uh, they are somewhat low profile compared to something like a JBO. Now, the cons, they just die at nine months. That's, that's about the only con that I can see. And it's, actually, it's actually a big one. Um, kind of disappointed in that. So, that's it guys, that's about it for the video. If you wanna buy these, go ahead. I would say don't, and I would say just get like MP40s, MP10s, anything like that. Um, even the uh, Nero 5s, I think they're coming out like a Nero 7, they might be, I'll have to look. But either way, uh, never had any issues, with, any issues with those pumps, so you might just wanna just skip the wave altogether. So that's it guys, hopefully you enjoy the video. Any questions or if you've had any experiences with these, feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you uh, like my content, definitely subscribe. I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys later. All right.